G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Review. I've got a bent today, bent spoke. I saw the can, the little bee, and I'm like, I know that. Bent straightforward beer. Oh, there's nothing straightforward about anything anymore, is there? Let's stay on topic. Yeah, Ben spoke. They get into the Gabs. Hottest 100s are there. Crank Shaft IPA, I think it is, and a few other beers. And This is in a pale, sort of pasty, blue can. It's 4% ABV, 1.2 stamp drinks. You just This is their mid-strength option, I suppose. I don't, some of these breweries, I know they do mid-strength. That's great for at the brewery if you're driving. And I don't, or look, I say if you drive, have none. But like, you know, a mid-strength, you know you're safe. Or, you know, if you're at home, you don't want to get too sloshed. The mid-strength. And uh, they have a place. But yeah, off-sales, craft breweries with off-sales of mid-strength, I don't really get. But then again... Yeah, look, if it's got a market, they do it. And they know more than me, so I'm just, yeah, look. But anyway, this came in a four-pack, and it was around about 20 something dollars which I thought was a bit steep, especially for the ABV of such a small quantity bank. Four, but you know what? Like, no, look, we're all getting around the four fives, your easy hazies. So, look, my favourite is easy hazy, but... Let's see what this is like. And I want to share this with you. It's, geez, a very quiet Saturday night. Went to the brewery at Sanctus and had a nice meal and a couple of beers. I had the, um, the Lazy Hazy. It's a good drop. This is very clear. Yeah, look, it, it's nothing to look at. I've uh, got the Spring Eagle glass, as we can see. Uh, very carbonated, very active. But nothing um, really... Well, it's clear. It's got a bit of a... Oh, it hasn't even got a spiel on the can. It's got the dietary requirements. But yeah, anyway, we'll go to the nose and have a bit of a sniffy poo, see if we can see what's going on here. A, I get a slight hint of lime and um, a bit of that cerveza smell. Straightforward beer. Sometimes it is hard as a good sized craft brewery to brew good beers like this. So let's just see 4%. It's sensible. It's a beer. Very carbonated. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, very carbonated. Very active. Head retention gone. Really no taste at all. And I really mean that in a disappointing way. 375 mil can. We love that. Yeah, I'm a bit all over the shop and just. It's just boring. This is what I'm saying. A craft brew that releases a mid strength beer that tastes just like Carlton Dry or, um, you know, your, Carl, your Carlsberg, yeah. It's just a very basic beer. And that's what it's supposed to be. I suppose it says that though, doesn't it? So it fits the brief. You know, if they're trying to appeal to the masses that just don't like taste, and there's a lot of people out there that don't like taste, they don't like tasting their beers, this would be for you. So I'm not totally ragging on it. 
This on tap would be very easy to drink because it just doesn't have a lot of flavour. Um, yeah, it, it, that's the review. It doesn't have a lot of flavour. It's It doesn't look attractive. It's got a purpose, you know. Um, I just didn't feel like having a heavy tonight, right now. But I really want to have that porter. Um, yeah, have that. I have to get a fire going. Geez, that'd be nice. I should do a fire pit and dig one in, but I've just been. I'm not slack. I'm not slack around here. Like, I keep the house looking good and, you know, probably looking good. And, yeah, you do the best you can, don't you? This, this place is up high, so you've got this shit of a lawn to mow. It's a dead set neck breaker, mate. Like, I'll show you this maybe in a clip. But, um, yeah, I took the GT for a spin the other week. I think I said it on one of my reviews. I've got to get her out more. I've got to get the car out more, the old girl. And, um, yeah, do it. Just, I've got to get a few things. I need new tyres. Definitely need new tyres on it. I want to get the bonnet. It's got a little bit of rust in the bonnet. It's the only rust it's got left. And I'll get a radio. I had the original AM um, Super Fringe, it is, radio in there. But um, it, it wasn't working. I took it to a bloke who, and believe it or not, it was at Grafton. Uh, I don't know how I met him, but he worked, um, did some work for the police for their um, the radio electronics unit, RAU, I think they're called, or, or some. Uh, anyway, I took it in there and he, he, oh, I love working on those old radios. And I said, oh, you reckon you could fix it? And But yeah, it, it did, but then it died. So I've got to get a, I'm just going to get a more current one, the, the ones that look. OG, but uh, um, they've got a USB port and all, so you can at least listen to the, you know, this is very gassy. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, look, if this was on the shelf and it was $24 plus, I wouldn't be going, shelling out that much for it. Oh, I'd do, you know, 16 to 18 bucks for a four pack of it because it comes a four pack but yeah tires radio the bonnet and that's it pretty much that's uh yeah i just gotta drive it more the ss2 i've got an ssv i only take that around the block or do a few laps in it and i drove them for work as I said in a previous video years ago, beautiful car to drive. It, it still smells new. It's got the nitro orange floor mats. It's, um, I'll take this for a walk around one day on it. It's, I know it's only an SSV, but I just, I don't know. It's only got like 20,000 Ks on it and it's coming up to 20 years old. Anyways, I might leave it at that tonight. Yeah, this beer's boring as batshit. It really is. Um, it's just... And I chose it for a reason. I didn't want a big deal tonight. I just wanted to share one with you. And yeah, bent. Um, straight forward beer is... Yeah, look. If you saw it on tap... Yeah, even if you did, it's 4%. Like... You're better off with your Byron Bay or your, you know, your lager or your, I don't know. But this is just, yeah, it's pretty boring. But straightforward. Sometimes I feel like that. Take care of each other. Love each other. Be kind to each other. I love you all and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.